Musa alayhi salam, when he sees injustice, he gets upset. When he sees two people fighting each other, he doesn't just stand there, he goes and fixes it. When he sees women struggling to feed their animal, he goes and helps. When he sees an innocent boy being killed, or he sees a ship being sunk for no reason, of course he's going to have a problem. And this became his test of sabr. In other words, when you see, when you and I see unfairness in your personal life, in your circle, when you see unfairness done towards you or done towards, towards others, and you start questioning, why is this unfairness happening? This isn't right. That can't be a good thing. And you start, you know, it, it agitates you. It really bothers you. It's at that point that those words of Khidr salam to, to Musa salam are, أَقُلْ إِنَّكَ لَن تَسْتَطِيعَ sabr. Did I tell you, this, this education, this, real, this, this knowledge is not easy to acquire. You, can't, you don't have the patience for this. This is why it's not given to everyone. You, you, you can't handle this. And he even made the statement, وَكَيْفَ تَصْبِرُ عَلَى مَا لَمْ تُحِطْ بِهِ خبرا. How in the world can you be patient over something you have no knowledge or experience of? There's an experience of the unseen. Allah did not open up that experience to us. We can't possibly experience it. We have to be humble and just sit back and say, Allah knows and we don't know. Wallahu ya'lamu wa antum la ta'lamun. Allah knows and you don't know. Eventually when Musa alayhi salam was taught, okay, these are the things you couldn't bear. This is what was really going on. This, is, this was Allah's plan behind each of the events that took place. When, that hap- when that's described, then actually we realize this is one of the most important bits, parts of knowledge that if we don't humble ourselves to, if we truly don't humble ourselves to, then there's no point considering yourself and myself someone who wants to learn about Allah's deen. Let me say that again. When, uh, when we give ourselves completely to Allah's plan, that means we've humbled ourselves before Allah. We've trusted our teacher, who is Allah, and we've trusted the road he's taken us on, even if that road becomes uncomfortable, our trust in him doesn't go away. And that's not easy to do. If that wasn't even easy to do for a messenger like Musa alayhi salam, Allahu Musa taklima, the one who spoke to Allah directly, it wasn't even easy for him to do. That means it's not easy for you and me to do. This is one of the hardest things we have to do in life, is to actually be able to just be okay with Allah's plan is to know at the end of the day, there is a larger plan. Now, please don't misunderstand what I'm trying to get across in this khutbah. I am not saying that when people treat you unfairly, and when people do wrong to you, or you see wrong happening, that you shouldn't say anything, it's Allah's plan. I, I'm going to take, you know, take the sabr approach and not say anything. That's not what's being said. It's being said about things that are out of our control. When things that are happening that are out of our control, there's always a plan in place. There's always something happening that, 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 that is from Allah. And we, us standing up for justice, us speaking out against the wrong that is happening, is an obligation we have on ourselves. But this is beyond that. It's, that's obvious. That's common sense. That's something that most of the Qur'an talks about. But there's an attitude before Allah Azza wa Jal that we have to humble ourselves. We have to, I have to really, really acknowledge in myself that I'm not going to question Allah. I'm not going to say, Ya Allah, I don't see the, the sense behind this plan. I don't get it. If I was planning, I would have done a better job. Ma'adullah. This is the thought that goes in someone's head. This is, this is the, the thing that has to be killed. Because my sense of planning, my decision making, in my head, you're thinking you're more merciful than Allah? You're thinking you're more just than Allah? You know, I, am I thinking that I'm a, I'm a better planner than Allah? I know better than Allah? I have more wisdom than Allah? Is that what I'm thinking? Because when I'm questioning His judgment like that, then I'm cl- there's clearly something wrong. Of course, we can get close to that sometimes. Even the angels got close to that at one point. They didn't understand why Adam was created. They didn't get it. They even asked Allah Azza wa Jalla, تَجْعَلُوا فِيهَا مَنْ يُفْسِدُوا فِيهَا وَيَسْفِكُوا الدِّمَا Are you going to put on the earth someone who's going to cause corruption and spill blood? We don't get it. But immediately, immediately, as soon as they said this, because they don't understand, it's okay, we can ask Allah, Ya Rabb, I wish I understood why this is happening. Give me contentment to deal with what is happening. That's okay. But immediately, what did the angel say? وَنَحْنُ نُسَبِّحُ بِحَمْدِكَ وَنُقَدِّسُ لَكَ And by the way, you're perfect. We're not questioning your perfection. We don't get it, but that doesn't mean that you're making the wrong decision at all. That's, that's humility. That's to be a abd of one of, one of the ibad of Allah. Abdan min ibadina.